All right, Knights of Apollo, what is up, guys? Hope you're doing well, and welcome back to a great battle. We are at the Dead Marshes in Rise of Mordor, and we have a fantastic Mordor vs. Elves matchup. This is a 3 vs. 3, and I was actually playing this on... Well, I was streaming it live on YouTube, so I I don't have a schedule yet, but I'm definitely planning on streaming more. I'm going to set up a schedule and announce it on my Discord, so be sure to uh, follow my Discord, and that way you can, you know, you know when I'm going to stream and what game I'm going to stream. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I think I'm going to get a lot of cool battles like this one when I live stream. Also, big shout out to all my YouTube members out there. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I actually set up a uh, YouTube member um, like goal, and we knocked it out. It only took. It, I was like the goal. Of the it was. It was a goal for January. We knocked it out in the first six days. It was insane. So thank you guys so much. Uh, so it's starting off here pretty wild. Uh, my army is the center army. Uh, we have some Linden elves already going for a charge. This was a big mistake on my part. I did not properly defend my archers, and I'm quickly uh, rushing forward some orc rabble. My ally is uh, bringing some forces into this fight as well. Uh, so, yeah. So, uh, we're taking on, like I said, all three of these armies are elven armies. They're all linden armies. I wanted it a cool, you know, I wanted it the elven orc Especially in the dead marshes, you know, we, we, we want that matchup. Uh, so yeah, he's got his army over here. It looks fantastic. These guys just look so good. They look so good. And then the center army is kind of... Actually, hold on. How are these armies set up here? Oh, that's right. The elves have such small armies. It's it's. I always forget. Uh, they have very small but deadly armies. So this is the very furthest right army. Then we have the center army right here, which is bringing the deadly ship right nobles. These guys are insanely good, insanely good. So they're going to be fun to see on the battlefield. And then finally, the the last army is uh, this is like the far. This would be their left. Uh, so they're kind of, I'm kind of getting double teamed at this point. I'm getting hit from two different uh, set of archers, uh, which is okay. It's not a bit, look how cool this, this captain is. Look at this guy. He's like, Rah, you like my flag? <laughs> his little, uh, his little flag. Uh, it's just awesome looking. This mod's making some great progress. So I didn't really want to sit back and deal with archers, you know, uh, because it's not a fight I'm going to win against the elves. So I thought, you know what? Let's go. It's it's showtime. I'm going to send in the orc rabble, and we're going to get this battle underway. And that's exactly what is happening here. We're sending in the orc rabble in the dead marshes. Let's see if we can win this battle and crush these elven scum. Now, the elves are going to go ahead and push forward. And they've got some spears here. They're going to form, like, shield wall and stuff. Actually, no. They're just going to charge in. This is so epic. Oh, yeah. So, they're just going to charge in and do some heavy damage to us. I've got another unit of orc rabble. I'm trying to flank around here a little bit. We, uh, if we turn on the HUD, you can see that they kind of over... They pushed a little too far with their infantry. And I was trying to flank around. But he counterflanked with another unit of... Looks like swordsmen here. Yeah. He's got some big old two-handed swords defending this flank. The goblins, you know, they're like, nah, fight back. So while that's going on, uh, they're sending up more reinforcements. There's a little bit of a fight going on uh, near my ally. Got some shipwright nobles taking on some Uruk spears. Pretty nice matchup. Over here, it gets pretty wild because I am getting double teamed. Uh, we have a very smart play by the elves. They sent over a cav unit. We kind of missed it there a little bit, but they charged in after my archers. I countercharged with some infantry, um, but I was just kind of like, man, I hope my teammate moves forward, and that's exactly what he is doing. He's going to move forward. He's actually going through the marsh right now, and he's going to push his infantry forward. And I kind of put him in a bad spot because I got a little too aggressive. And look at this. So, Ula, I got, I forgot to show you this, guys. The Olag, Olag High. Uh, they still have the elephant noises, but the Olag High are on the battlefield. Look at these lads. They look so good. 
The armor looks fantastic on them. And they're going to shift over to this front because I realized, hey, I'm getting double teamed. It's time to send in the trolls. It's, uh, it's time to send in the trolls. The Olag High, to be specific. And they are going to do a great job. These guys are so tough. They are so tough to deal with. So yeah, I'm fighting them back. I'm pushing up some orc pikes to kind of reinforce this front line um, and try to keep back these elven scum, the pointy-eared bastards. Even though, like, lore speaking, right? Like, technically speaking, orcs are like, you know, they come from elves. They're fighting their ancestors in a way. Not really. Um, but yeah, I mean, they do come from elves because um, Melkor cannot create. He can only corrupt. Or something of that nature. Uh, so, yeah. Big fight in the center. It's not going amazingly well. And that's not, you know, that's not surprising. It was a long time since I played a Total War battle when I played this. So, I was a little rusty. I was a little, little rusty. Uh, but we're doing okay. We're holding back the elves. But they are slicing through us pretty effectively. So, that is a problem. Uh, let's kind of go ahead and get a little zoom out here. We, we got some elves kind of sneaking behind our lines. Bit of a problem, but it's not too bad. He's already uh, pretty banged up, about half strength. So I'm not too worried about it. It's not the general, but it's still a cav unit we got to look out for. I brought the Nazgul. So we have the... <laughs> look at this. The Nazgul, man. Oh, so cool. Uh, look at this big push over on this side. Just massive push of orcs. Uh, trying to cross this land bridge and uh, you know do some damage and both sides are just kind of throwing in units you know they're just throwing in their men trying to overwhelm the other side and just you know one thing the orcs the orcs don't have skill when it comes to comparing themselves to uh, the elves but they do have numbers and that's what the orcs are doing they're going to use their numbers and try to overwhelm this front the did he just push him with his hand? Did you see that? You guys, you might want to rewind and watch that. It looked like he just used his hand and pushed them back. In the most, like, non-lethal ma defensive maneuver. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, this is this is going to be a tough fight for both sides as they fight through the, uh, the dead marshes. Uh, now we got some cav rolling in. My ally on this side, this would be my right side, he actually brought a lot of cav. Uh, which I was a little worried about, but the cav, I, I, they're so good. They're so good. I kind of forget, forgot, I've, I've forgotten about that. I forgot about that. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyways, the cav's going at it. My Olog High still fighting away. Look at these lads. Oh, yes. Push them around. Tell them who's boss. Uh, they have taken some casualties. Um, actually, a lot. They're about half strength now. So... They are chopping away at my my um, my trolls, but again, we're holding the front. I had to send everybody in. You know, I had my I had basically three layers of troops in my army. I had the cheap troops that went in first. I have my middle like middle ground like good infantry troop, and then the third wave was like my pike spear troop. And as you can tell, the spears are in. This means that all of my infantry is pretty much committed to this fight, and I'm doing everything I can to hold against the elves and uh, teammates are coming over to help me out let's go ahead and zoom out get a bigger picture of what's going on over on this right side from the elven point of view there's a lot of fast moving units lots of cav running around trying to kill each other essentially uh, we also have a big infantry fight which looks pretty promising for the orcs because they have the shipwright nobles outnumbered so if we can kill this general which is at half strength we can kill this general, right? They're half, oh wait, yeah, 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 they're half strength. There's also a general back here. This is my general. Unfortunately, the elves, the scummy elves, were focusing their archer fire on my general. And look at this, they're like Nazgul power, baby. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I lost a lot of my, uh, uh, wow. Wow, I lost them all. That archer fire is insane. That's frustrating. So as soon as I lose my generals, my guys just don't have the stomach to fight. And they do a massive chain route. Oh, kill him. Come on. Oh, can you do it? Can you do it, buddy? He's like, I give him a little kick and I'm out of here. Oh, okay. Thanks for the help. 
Uh, but yeah, they uh, they did their best. They did their best, and it just unfortunately with the loss of the general, my Olug High have all perished. They have all died fighting these elves, and I'm, at this point, I'm left with one unit. So already, like halfway through the battle, maybe even a little less, I'm down to one unit of orc pikes. So personally, I didn't do amazing in this battle, but I was getting double teamed there for a little bit. And hopefully I was able to kind of be the the meat shield, the, the meat, uh, I don't know, I guess the meat shield for the other armies absorbed a lot of ammo, took on two armies a little bit. I'm hoping my allies can uh, t finish this one strong. And it does look promising over here. We've got, look at the, all this uh, Mordor Cav. This is actually running amok on the Elven army. Uh, they've got a nice position behind the Elven lines. He's going to be able to kill these Elven infantry. And with that, the flank is completely opened. And the Elves are going to get surrounded. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. It looks like, I mean... <sighs> The elves are always going to be outnumbered, okay? That's just how it is with this game. They have small units, but they're very good. But it does look like the elves cannot hold any longer. And they have broken through. He's, actually, he's not breaking. He's retreating. He's falling back. He, I think he's going to group up what he has left. Which, as an elven you know, player, that's not a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. And they're going to group up and try to finish what's left over here and I mean look at this it in the center it's pretty close uh, my pikes look at this they're still fighting there's still which is really great I actually have three units stuck on my pikes that's a huge win right there with my one unit army that's left in the game and archer fires coming down as well trying to soften up these elves and make them you know a little easier to take care of to deal with they're going to change targets though these archers and go for the infantry that's kind of just standing here which is smart you want to again try to weaken them as much as possible and that's what's uh going on here uh back over here we have the general another general this is a different one that we saw earlier another shipwright nobles uh this general is going to do fine he's perfectly healthy uh in terms of numbers and these two units of orc warriors, they're just orc warriors. They are just not going to be able to handle the skill of these elves as they butcher the orcs here, which is just devastating. Now we've got all this uh, cab rushing through. This is huge. All this Mordor cab. This is from actually the player that was over on this side. He rushed over and kind of helped out, and he's going to run down some archers. This cab is so good. And yeah, I think they're working on some wargs, so pretty soon, hopefully, we'll get these guys on, on wargs, which is which is going to be awesome. Uh, so they, yeah, they're cleaning these guys up. They're taking them out. Uh, elves are trying to rush over some infantry to try to pin this cab down. I don't think Mordor is going to hang around too much longer. I think they're going to slash and go, uh, so to speak. Now, back over on this side, uh, yeah, the uh, Mordor is still fighting with their infantry. Their cab is gone, though. Your infantry, infantry still fighting the good fight. He's got some uh, Uruk Throng, which is pretty solid infantry. Not as good as the elves, though, so he's going to have to rely on flanking around. Oh, nice fight going on there. Now, my spears, I didn't win the fight. The elves decided to fall back. So what the elves are doing is that they're regrouping. Uh, that's, that's a problem because... With them scattered, it's so much easier to kill them because the elves are just tanky. They're just they're just tough to kill, and if you, you got to get a flank on them, especially as Mordor, you got to get a flank on them. So if they group up too much and protect their flanks, it's gonna be a problem. Well, let's see what happens. So I I noticed that hey, you know. I, at this point, and the cool thing is you can watch my battles live. So after you watch this, you can see the live, kind of my reaction to it and how I played. Um, it's in the live stream um, video playlist, which is on the home screen if you go all the way down. Uh, I have it unlisted. Uh, that way, you know, you can still watch it. Definitely check it out if you, if you have a, a chance. But um, yeah, I've sent my one unit over here to help out. You can see the elves are maneuvering their forces. I was like, okay, that's fine. I'm just gonna go for the general. You know, I'm just gonna go for the general. If we take him out, I've, you know, I have a better feeling of these elves breaking a little sooner. 
you know, so, and yeah, he did a little charge there, a little maneuver, which actually got a lot of his uh, troops killed there. They're down to 17. My guys have been breaking, not breaking, breaking uh, for the last like 10 minutes. So I was, I was just happy to have a unit still in the game. You know, I was just like, ah, whatever. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. So I'm trying to flank around because he's got two pike units. Type, you know, halberd pike type units. And I'm trying to get behind them i notice he falls back over there i wish he didn't i wish he just stayed there for a little bit longer and then i could have flanked around then i was like thinking maybe hey i could hold them since this is a pike unit i can hold them in place and then you come back but i don't think he sends that unit back this is what i wanted him to do same thing he did over here and look how cool this is the elves are fighting back to back in their pike formation their spear formation it looks really cool So let's zoom over here. You can see how brutally close it is. The balance of power is dead even at this point. And we've got small pockets of troops fighting it out and trying to achieve small victories here and there that uh, they hope will add up to a, well, the ultimate victory. They're gonna disengage. Uh, more troops are kind of gathering around. We've got these uh, guards of teeth. Teeth? I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Oof. You're getting chewed up by these guys. These guys are really good. They're really good. And you can see the elves are kind of chasing down the general. General's going to go ahead and throw himself in. Oh. Which makes sense. He's getting a lot done here. Really good charging by the general. And it's just chaos right now. It does appear that the elves have a bit of an advantage. Uh, it looks like they've got a lot of units that are doing well. A lot of breaking Mordor troops. Um, over here, unfortunately, my unit broke. You can see them breaking right here. You cowards! Absolute cowards. Uh, but the elves held. They held. And this is what makes the elves so strong is that it seems like uh, they are low on numbers. But that's just not the case. And uh, they're able to withhold that orc attack. And now these guys are going to desperately try to get back to their allies and regroup with them. And yeah, there's a, there's a lot going on right now. Small units. This is how painfully close this battle is. As the small units try to take each other out. Oh, man, that was kind of a cool animation. I'm trying to... Oh, this guy's going in. That's the second elf he's killed. He's like, yes. That's kind of how I envision I... That's how I envision him sounding. Uh, elks. Elks? I mean elves. <laughs> he's got a third kill. All right, I just want to see how long this guy goes for. Come on. A fourth kill. While watching them, who knows? Oh, wait, I lost them. I completely lost them. All right, because they all look the same, man. Well, he's got four kills, maybe even more. And they're doing a great job with all this cab mixed in there with the infantry. They're causing a mass amount of breakage here. Unfortunately, uh, no, these guys don't break. They're just falling back. Um, so if we zoom out here, let's get a tactical view. Look how, look at, look at this. This is insanely close. You have one, two, three, four, no, three units of elves. Three units of elves and a ton of Mordor forces. The cav is running in and out, trying to get some kills on these spears, trying to take care of them. But the spears are just too strong. And I cannot believe it. These, these what are these exactly? Noldorian nobles. These nobles are insane. Now remember, guys, these guys were surrounded, fighting back to back, and they come out on top. And now they're they're in the same situation. But will they do it again? That is the great question. Now, there's a little bit of a fight here, but this is a problem for these guard here of uh, of Mordor. They are about to find themselves surrounded because Mordor. All Mordor really has left at this point is archers and a little bit of cav uh the elves though see they're able they've got solid infantry so 
It's heavy infantry versus light and cav units is essentially what it's going to come down to. Mordor loses a really uh, critical unit there. And what's going to happen at this point, it's not the most exciting thing because it's a lot of skirmishing. A lot of skirmishing. There's a little bit of cav charges, which we'll see right here. But unfortunately, all the elven units that are left are spear units. They're going to do a great job against cav. So what happens at this point is that there's a lot of skirmishing, a lot of kiting, and the elves, they can't really do anything. So what we're going to do is just fast forward to the point where Mordor runs out of ammo and they have to make the choice of how are they going to charge in? How are they going to finish this? Look at the elves are forming their defensive uh, position here. So let's uh, fast forward right now. All right, guys, the elves have grouped up. Uh, the uh, Mordor archers have used up all their ammo. They used fire ammo at the last couple of volleys to try to break them, but it does not cause them to break. It was close, though. And now the great Mordor orc rabble will charge into these elves, and the elves are like, oh my god, they're everywhere! <laughs> Don't panic, keep fighting! The cab is charging in. And this is it, guys. The bounce of power is pretty even. It's pretty close. Who's going to take it? Uh, it's a little bit in favor of the elves, but that could change. With such little units, it comes down to such few men. This bounce of power could easily change at any direction at any time. Uh, but they're they're trying. They're trying to overwhelm. I like him. Mordor went with a just like like an ocean swallowing swallowing whole... I don't know, something, <laughs> something, uh, but yeah, they, they attacked on multiple sides, they're trying to break through and kill these guys, uh, we're down to the last minute, but as we watch, only one unit of elves are breaking, the rest are, are, are standing strong against the, uh, the orcs. And we start to see the orcs begin to break. And the elves are going to come out on top with an unbelievable last stand. Look at this guy's like, please. Ah. <laughs> the orc falls. Oh my goodness. They are finishing up these guys. And the orc, or the orc, yeah, the orcs will be destroyed. Look at them all getting stabbed there, sliced. So, um, yeah, the orcs break there. The elite discipline of the elves helped them come out on top. And this was a fantastic battle. This is the first battle of the stream. It was so good, so good. Um, so let's end the replay and look at the results here. I actually didn't really look at the results. My results are not gonna be great. Um, I don't like the fact that I have so many men remaining. It's just orcs. They do that and look how no kills No kills with the orc rabble. It's almost like not even worth bringing them other guys did. Okay uh, It's really the I just did I just didn't do well my Olag high did okay if I did a little bit better personally I think we could have won this battle, but you know it is what it is good game to all the players uh, Cassius, uh, he sent in a ton of replays. He's, Cassius, the guy who does all the cool historical 1212 uh, battle replays scenarios. Really awesome stuff. He did a great job in this battle. The Cav killed it. Just killed it. So, this was a fun battle. This was a great battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed playing it and doing the commentary over it. Uh, again, if you like the video, of course, like the video. <laughs> Lay siege to the video, or not the video, the like button. I do appreciate it. Thank you for the support, and I'll see you guys soon in the next battle.